and it makes things visible or not visible. So right here we have two beakers right on camera, okay? You can see them both. There's a middle beaker, a little smaller than this bigger beaker right here. You can both see them on camera, right? Okay, the room's pretty clear. Why can you see this middle beaker? Well, as the light passes through it, it bends the light, reflects a little light, you can come back, comes back, and you can see it. Okay, because you see how the light changes. This is a uh, magic food, no, 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 it's just oil. And you can actually do the same, very, very same thing with baby oil too if you want to. This is just vegetable oil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this fluid, I'm going to pour it in here. Now remember that this uh, glass, the Pyrex, actually bends the light at a certain rate because of its density. So what I'm doing now is I'm adding this Western oil, which just ha happens to have exactly the same density as the Pyrex. So if I have it in the middle, you can still see that middle beaker, right? Okay, good. But now let's surround that middle beaker. Let's actually take this oil and pour it all the way around it. <laughs> Notice now that, now that the light no longer bends or reflects as it passes through the oil and then the beaker, there's no longer any way for you to see it. Is it still there? Yes. No, right? No, it's really still there and you just can't see it anymore because the density is exactly the same as our Western oil. Therefore, the light never bends when it's passing through all that stuff. Okay? So if you really want to trick your parents, you put a couple glasses in the thing, you pour oil in there, and they're like, oh, what's this? Just the glass didn't go in there. Oh, no. <laughs> Blow some hair out of the side. Now, not everybody can see what I'm doing, right? right? Now, remember, what science is really all about in a lot of ways is actually trying to figure out what's going on. They look at different situations, they look at what's going on in nature, and they say, well, what's really happening? And you can do that in a couple different ways. You can look closer at it, or you can actually see how it affects other things. So, what's that? It's just a candle, and it's a little away from me. If I go ahead and I do that, I can blow the candle out so I know it has an effect. That's important. But we want to do more than that. And scientists, all, ty all types of scientists do all different ways to look at things. Biologists use microscopes, all different types of devices. Astronomers use the telescopes, all different wavelengths of light. So what I'm going to use here is theatrical fog. So let's actually take a look at what we have going on there with that air. Because there's really no way to see it without something called a streamer, which is what the theatrical fog is. What is this? What is 
is this? What kind of soda is this? Oh, what kind of soda? Regular soda, right? What's this? Diet soda. Now my question to you, as scientists, because you're all scientists, which one stinks and which one floats? This one does what? I hear different answers. What does this one do? I don't know about you, but I'm always amazed at the 